Sound really Hello good. everybody, Activate. welcome back to Reason Gaming TV. My name is FPS Kainite and as always it is knife round. So people, they like the Russian accent. Uh, I said that Banks, he'll be coming to join me. But it's not actually Banks. It's Chewy still. Banks is not feeling very well. He must go doctor. And let's see if anyone need doctor here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Z1, he need doctor. He get knife to chest. And let's see, courage of course. They beat Kick Gaming on the Inferno earlier, so they are nice and warm, very very warm, Chewy disappeared, I'm not quite sure where he's going, but yes people are saying FPS Kainite, very very good, 4 versus 3, 3 versus 2, these courage, these Russians, but no Crystal, Crystal is beast with knife, Crystal 2 versus 1, and down he goes, thanks to Simple, and I'm supposed to have Chewy alongside me, but he seems to have randomly disappeared. Out of team speak, so it does seem like uh, I'm going to be going uh, all alone for this cast. But welcome to Reason Gaming TV, everybody. My name is Kainan. If you've uh, tuned in before, welcome back. If you haven't, then press that follow button because uh, you know you want to. So we've got Courage, who of course beat Kick Gaming earlier on on this map, guys. They look very, very solid, but they do have arguably tougher opposition now, uh, and Germans as well. We all know how uh, how good our little German friends are in CS, don't we? So, all alone. It's not an ideal world. I don't like casting by myself. But hey, I guess uh, one man is better than uh, no one. So here we go. Prizrak and Blade. We saw Courage play that uh, double double, double setup on the B-bomb site with uh, three on the A-bomb site. And they're doing it again, guys. They see no reason to switch it up. And there we go. Lovely shot from World Edit. And Asmo will need to pick up that bomb. He knows World Edit is there. He will fall back. But Solek has managed to tiptoe and sneak and dance left and right and somehow make his way in towards Arch. And now Alternate will curl back round. And they have this one-man advantage. It will become a two-man advantage. And the bomb will go down. And I think we will be seeing a German pistol round win here against the uh, Russians or the Ukrainians or the team from the CIS. Call them what you will. And it's USPs and P2000s up against Gal... Up against Gals, up against Glocks. Oh, lovely jumping from Prizrak. He missed the terrorist behind him. Down goes Crystal as well. And at two versus two, this actually seems doable. Prizrak goes down to the Glock of Asmo. Both Asmo and Felix on fire. They all both had two kills. And now Felix has made it a hat-trick. 1-0 is your score in favour of the Germans. And of course now, guys... Attacks winning that pistol round. It means they can afford to buy bigger and better weapons. Of course, Solek opting to save a bit of cash. He's still got that CZ-75. But Felix, Rack, Crystal and Asmo, they've got AK-47 in Gallows. And I think what Attacks will be wanting to do is you know, keep everything long distance because the AKs are a lot better than the Deagles or the P250s that Courage have at long distance. But despite that, they are looking slightly more B-sided than anything. So Solek and Asmo both at the top of Banana. And if they do decide to push into this bomb site, they'll have Prizrek and Blade to try and deal with. Blade, of course, holding that angle. I think he just caught a glimpse of Solek. Maybe yes, maybe no. Only time will tell. The smokes go out. And are we going to see any CTs rotating just yet? No. Attacks. They're taking their time. But even if they do rush in, guys, you would expect them to really easily push into this bomb site and take it. So here we go. The smoke's going out. Blade is going to be blind. He's only got that P250 in hand. Lovely shot from Blade. But Rack wastes no time whatsoever to shut him down. And Rack with the double. And now the bomb will go down on this bomb site. Felix will watch Banana. Simple and Z1 rotating through CT. I think World that it might join them as well. So, four versus three. Let's see how it unfolds here on DE Inferno. Courage might opt to save their pistols because, of course, those eagles are quite expensive weapons. $800 is what they cost. And here we go. Simple. I'm trying to make it look simple. Not really working in his favour. Nothing to really sing and shout about. And, yep, as expected, guys. Attacks will uh, pull back out of this bomb site. They've got those gallows and AKs still. It's only World Edit who managed to save that that Deagle. And he will live to fight another day as he will run towards the B bomb site. But we will see 2 0 in favour of attacks. And guys, we know that T side is a lot cheaper than CT side. So uh, the CTs, they can't go for that early third round buy, which is what we see terrorists do quite a lot on CSGO. Um, they, they, they're still being forced to deco, and hang on a second, one of the attacks players drops a grenade and puts three, no, four 
of his players down on HP. So I don't think they'll be too happy with that. But Felix doesn't care. Felix is going to continue to pull that trigger and aim to cause havoc. Crisp shot from him. And down goes World Edit. Felix causing World Edit a world of problems. Down at mid. And attacks will proceed to try and get this bomb down. Z1 has pushed up, so that'll allow the Russians or the CIS players to realize that no one is, you know, in that apps area. We've got a two-man setup on the B bomb site, and there's no CTs on the A bomb site. They've rotated all the way back round, but Asma will nail Blade in the head, and Crystal wasting no time whatsoever. Here we go. Four versus, no, five versus two, and Z1 and Simple will plant this bomb, and Z1 with the Deagle. It's Simple with the P2000. Yep, no, the P250, sorry. And let's see whether they'll be able to uh, do the impossible. They're not going for it. They're staying in T-Sport. In, uh, They're waiting for Rack and Solak and Co. to rotate down Banana. They know they'll be lucky to get one exit frag, let alone uh, two or three. And so far, attacks have played it by the book, really. They won the pistol round. Uh, and they've gone on to capitalise on the financial advantage, which winning the pistol round has given them. So, looking good. Simple managing to get one frag. Z1 as well, but they both go down. And the problem now for Courage is that three alternate attacks players managed to survive. And look at their cash, guys. We've got $6,000 on three of these attacks players. So even if Solek, who's yet to get a kill, you know, can't afford to buy next round, Felix, Crystal, and Asmo, they're rolling in the money, and they will be able to buy up for them. So here goes nothing. Where are Crystal gonna... Oh, Crystal's going second mid. Where's Solek and Asmo and Co. They're heading down towards Banana. And one thing we see a lot of teams do is they like to push Banana when they've got the weapons. Take full control, leave someone at tree, and then allowing them to rotate one extra man back to the A bomb site. And that's not exactly something we've seen Courage do. And Solex was looking to punish them, but it wasn't meant to be. And Felix now, with the bomb on his back... No, he doesn't have the bomb on his back. will rotate back down towards Banana. And where are the Germans going to take this bomb? There's no one on Banana. If you're a Courage fan, you'd be keeping your fingers crossed that one of them rotates back towards the A bomb site. So, well done. It all lies on quad. And uh, surely... With 50 seconds to go, it's only going to be a matter of time till we see the angry Germans try and take this larger A bomb site. Felix and Asmo creeping in towards Arch. The smokes go out. The flashes are lobbed. I think they might try and go CT spawn to, to B, you know. Yep, that looks like what they're trying to do. Simple, is he going to catch Asmo here? He will spot him. It's Asmo against Simple. But Simple with the frag. And now Courage have a two-man advantage to try and uh, capitalize on. So... Felix will try and catch a rotating CT, but Z1, he says, no, you Germans, I don't want you to plant this bomb, and that bomb has no terrorists nearby. Felix with the frag, it's two versus three versus one, and down goes Felix, his face hits the floor, bye-bye Felix, and the score will be 3-1, and that round was so important for Courage, guys, because it was 3-0, not in their favour. 3-0 in favour of the Germans. If they had lost this round and made it 4-0 to attacks, we know the financial advantage attacks had. That advantage would have become an even bigger advantage. Um, now, Courage, they've got weapons. Fair enough. Blade is still short on cash. He still has to buy that FAMAS. But they've got that all-important round on the board, and they're not being forced to deco or to eco once again. So, uh, good news if you're a Courage fan. The bad news if you're an alternate fan is that Solek is to be only on a P250. So, Bombers dropped uh, in and around T-Steps, and at the moment, Attack's taking it relatively slow, you know, they're just trying to, trying to force one of these Courage players into making a mistake, but at the moment, these Courage players are not doing that. Attack's, of course, a lot more experienced than the Courage opposition they've got at hand, the likes of Crystal, who had a bit of a reputation in CS Source, I'll leave it at that, and Rack, one of the best German players back in his day, but here goes... Nothing surely will, then it will uh, come up against at least one of these uh, terrorizing terrorists in apps. He will fall back and he will flash back Rack. Hey, that rhymes. But anyways, so where are the terrorists going? The bomb has had a change of heart, guys. It's going towards the B bomb site. Solek is going to try and infiltrate CT spawn. They want to wrap around the Russians. They want to wrap around CT spawn and hit this bomb site from all angles. And the question at hand now is 25 seconds to go. Guys, they've got to get a move on. Come on, attacks. Get your running shoes on and let's see a few heads popped on your behalf. 
So here goes nothing. So it's holding the angle and down he goes. Prizak as well. He played it well against Kick. And him and Blade, an unbeatable duo on this bomb site at the moment. And it's Crystal with the weight of the world on his shoulders and courage. Win the round back. 3 2 is your score. Let me know who you guys have uh, have bet on in the chat. User joined your channel. So someone's joined my channel. Reveal it's yourself. Me. It's Chewy. Right, you can uh, you can cast this round. I've casted about five rounds in a row, and I need. I uh, do apologise. Hashtag water. blame Chewy. Yeah. Indeed, yes. You enjoy your water. Okay, I'm, oh, I'll change my volume settings in a minute. But here we go. Three, two it is. I've just slightly been able to watch out of the corner of my eye. I do apologise for that. But it looks like alternate attacks are on an eco at the second. So Courage are looking good. We saw them on this map earlier on. And they took it in pretty convincing style. So we'll see what they can do again. Come on, auto director. Please hurry up. Thank you once again. Zed One's going to take some damage though. He is going to go down. Rack has been the first casualty of the round though. And Zed One has been taken down to 26 HP. So... It looks like alternate attacks on their eco round right now are starting to make their way in towards A. Are they going to be able to do anything or are Courage going to be able to hold strong? They're doing great so far. Solik's going to get taken down to 13 HP. Crystal down to 13. Other players have been taken down left, right and centre. Solik is going to be able to pick up one though and he's picked up an AK-47 as a reward. So, two versus four. He does get taken down though. It's going to be Crystal, the last one left alive. Looks like it should all be over for him. He's going to back away from that gunfight, but they are going to chase it down. So, run away, Crystal. You are in trouble. He has got the bomb, but I just have a feeling he's not going to be able to do much here. He is on 13 HP, and by the looks of things, we should be all square, all even, 13-13 in a few seconds' time. And that gives me the opportunity to lower my volumes down because I was going to go deaf if it was any louder. There we go. I'm all good to go. Kaine, have you had your water? Are you alive and ready to go? Hello? Kyanite. I don't is know. Dead he is. Now. He is. No, I am here. I am here. I was, uh, are you dead now? So I was pretending to play dead. Hi. Oh, Hi. right. Hi. I was I was, I was, was wondering there for a second. Me. I was like, is he alive? Or what's going yeah. on? But here oh, we I'm go. Alive. So it's the seventh round. Okay, seventh round. It's my turn. Cool. So, world edit yeah. with the end. It's my turn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's your turn, Kai. What are you trying to do? And what is this CT trying to do? So close to getting a frag. But it wasn't meant to be, and Felix now hanging onto a thread on only 10 HP. And there we go, the bomb. It looks like alternate attacks aren't going to waste any time trying to infiltrate this B bomb site. They're going in, it's going, 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 gone, and simple around the corner. He takes down two before dropping himself, and it's none other than Solek to get the double. And Blade shuts him down, and the man who's on 10 HP somehow managed to dodge all the bullets running into the bomb site. And now he's between. Uh, the walls of ruins and Z1 hang on him a second he might get the kill but no 4-3 and when you consider the attacks they won the pistol round they were 3-0 up but they've completely blown that lead and remember Chewie we've already casted a courage game on Inferno earlier mm. on today and they beat kick and they were tremendous yeah, they were. They really were tremendous. A lot of people, including uh, ourselves, did think that there was a chance which uh, that Kick could take it. Well, the, uh, the people's money uh, for a lot of the percentage was on Kick to take it. I said that I had a feeling that Courage could take it, and they did indeed. They've been looking really strong on this map in recent times anyway, especially this man on your screen. Simple. Is he going to get the third? Yes, he is indeed. Ooh. Hat trick for him. All headshots as well. Simple, you are one of my favourite players, but it's going to get shut down by a Deagle as soon as I do say that. It's a five on, sorry, it's a three on two at the second rack. Great killing to Prizak. And now it's all even. So, a Deagle and an AK-47 going up against an M4 and an AK-47. Now Crystal once again for the second round in a row. It's going to be the last one left alive. And unfortunately for him, he hasn't got the bomb well dead. It's going to shut him down. 5-3 it is. I'm just going to take a look at the scoreboard and see what's going on overall. Simple. I'm not really surprised whatsoever that he's the one top fragging for the CT side. 12 and 7 for him doing great work overall. So, into round number 9. All teams are able to buy. Let's see what's going to happen right now. And, uh, you know, from what you've seen so far of alternate attacks on the T side, what are they doing wrong? What do they need to pick up? Well, if they are doing anything wrong. Yeah, they are doing something wrong. They're not really splitting and picking, really. I think they need to split up. They're sort of putting all their eggs in one basket and trying to push straight into a bomb site without, you know, proper smokes, proper flashes. And when I say proper smokes and proper flashes, I mean that in comparison to, you know, the pinpoint smokes and flashes that we see from the likes of Verdus Pro and Ninjas in Pyjamas. And here we go. I think Felix is listening. He's preparing some sort of smoke as Rack 
slowly makes his way towards Apps along with uh, his uh, right hand man Crystal, Solek. So yeah, it looks like they're going to try and infiltrate this A bomb site. The question is how are they going to do it? Are they all going to go in the same direction? Are they going to split up? Because Courage, this uh, CT defense on their behalf looks relatively strong. So World Edit is playing Apps. Unfortunately, not really anyone coming his way directly from Apps. He has someone coming from uh, from Quad, maybe. Felix will take a peek down Arch. And come on, attacks. Get your running shoes on. And let's see some sexy counter-strike, some sexy action. You know, the same way we were seeing Virtus Pro doing. <laughs> and Simple... You've got to put money on him getting the first frag, and he has. So the headshot onto Solek and the T's, they're running away like flies at the moment. But here we go, they're finally going to try and advance onto this uh, larger A bomb site. And here we go, it's Durani Mo. it's simple with two frags. He's Crystal in pit, but World Edit shuts him down. And Felix and Asmo, the last terrorist standing, and the commentator's curse kicks in. And they couldn't even get the bomb down. 6-3 is the score. And Courage, like I said earlier on, they went something like seven or six games without beating one of these so-called top sides. And mm. they did kick. And so far, they're on course to beating attacks. And what a confident boost for them. Oh, yeah, definitely indeed. And, and this is the thing. We kind of talked about the, the mental game of Counter-Strike earlier on and, well, all the FPS esports as a whole about how kind of important uh, it is and how things can also switch very quickly indeed. And it's switched very quickly today for Courage. They weren't looking the best with their results that they've been having so far in the Star Series, but since then uh, they've really looked very good indeed today at least, and the score is 6-3. I do apologise if my microphone is bad. I saw somebody saying in the chat that it's not the best. I will try and switch over to the other one at the halfway mark and see if that improves anything at all. I am aware of it, and my house phone is going off, so I'm going to pick that up and put it down straight away. I do apologise. Crystal gets the first kill, though. <laughs> Taken out simple. He, was the first. he took the first kill in the last round, gets killed first kill of this second round, though. So it's a 4-4 four four situation. And once again, I do apologize for one, my microphone, and two, my house phone. <laughs> hmm. But yeah, no doubt that the sound of those flashes, talking about your house phone, will be ringing within that B bomb site. And Rack looks like he's going to take it all over by himself. But Priz Rack round the corner. Surely he can do this. No, he's moving and shooting, but he will take down one at least. So here goes nothing. It's two Germans against three Russians or three Ukrainians or three people from the CIS and Asmo with the headshot well no not Asmo with the headshot Asmo on the receiving end of a headshot and now it's Felix up against two angry courage players have they got the courage to try and take this bombsite it's a beautiful shot from Felix and he's holding the angle it's E1 against Felix and Felix with the clutch 6-4 is your score and what a shot from Felix that first shot to absolute perfection and then the last kill was easy 6-4 yeah, 6-4 it is, and, and that was a really strong round there. I mean, of course, Courage are still going to be able to buy, and Simple's got that AWP. I would be scared if I was alternate attacks coming up against Simple with an AWP, but still, they took that round so, so well indeed. They had to build down in fine, and that's why I would be scared of him. Felix, who played so well in the last round, gets shut down before this uh, 11th round here has even really started. So, four AK-47s going up against the load of M4s, M uh, yeah, and, uh, and an AWP as well. So, the bomb is back towards t spawn in a second. You've got two towards A. Two in banana as well for the T side. Let's see how slow they're going to play it. We see teams more and more and more these days play T side Inferno so slowly, and then when they rush, sometimes it pays off. It is you know kind of high risk, high reward. Sometimes who dares mm. wins maybe on the T side sometimes in the words uh, if you are going to play it risky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, indeed, he indeed, dares exactly. Wins, Rodney. He yeah, dares it's, it's wins. Less, I didn't know that was a Devil Walk saying. I just know it because the essay. Not Devil Walk. It, Del Boy. Anyway. Del Boy from. From Holy Fools and Horses, not Devil oh, Walk. Oh, I was like, I thought you said Devil Walk from Fanatic. No, I, no. <laughs> I swear you just said Devil Walk. I said I Del like, Boy. Really? Does he say that? Does he? Does he? But anyway, <laughs> into the 11th round still. It's a 5v4 situation. Felix, once again, still the only casualty of the round. Not much happened since then. Looks like the bomb is going to be making its way through the middle uh, street at the second. Asmo is going to pick up one here onto Prizrak. He's going to get knocked down to 56 HP, though. Blade is going to be the last person left alive on to beat the second, although it looks like Simple's going to start to rotate round towards there, and the bomb is going to be going back towards Banana. Z1 with a great push taking out Crystal. They know about it though, and it looks like the rotation is going to come in as Blade gets another kill onto Asmo. Is Simple going to get one with his orb? Yes, he does indeed. Solek is going to be the last one left alive on 33 HP, and this is what has been so impressive about Courage. The bomb was so close to being, you know, taken in towards A, and yet still, when they backed off, Courage was so quick onto it, made a very quick rotation. 
and knew exactly what was going on, and once again, they forced the T side of alternate attacks onto an eco. Yeah, they have done. Yeah. Um, it's not. It's not. It's not the first time we see a team potentially, you know, win a deco round on T side Inferno. We've seen it done before, and the question at hand now is whether alternate attacks uh, are capable of pulling it back. Uh, yeah, I got no idea what I'm saying. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I sort of had a brain freeze because basically, basically, it, it was it was brain fart. it was it was because of the the terrorist skin on Inferno. Like, the, you know how they had the bot tournament yesterday? Someone yeah, released yeah, this yeah. hilarious picture of like this guy in bed with two women, and they put oh, the head. I saw that. I saw yeah, that. That and, and then I was looking at the alternate attacks player, and he had that skin on. And all I could think was that. All I could think of was that. And I was laughing in my head. And I was I had a complete mind blank. But anyways, guys, professional, professional. So simple has pushed down banana. Asmo still waiting in T spawn. I think he'll be waiting for uh, simple to rotate back down and get a cheap frag, perhaps. And uh, it definitely looks like they uh, know what they're doing with this deco round. The question at hand is, oh, whether it's going to work if Felix has pulled the trigger. He may have got a frag. Solex is going back for. S oh, he gets it. He oh, gets wow. it. Encourage, have this one man lead, but World Edit wastes no time whatsoever to even things out. And there we go. As expected, the real weapons showing why they're real weapons, showing why, you know, people play Counter Strike with AKs and M4s and not with Deagles or P250s. And 8 4, and I think I'm going to go and recover and find my brain again. So over to you, Chewie. I, I think with Courage, I mean, there's three standout players absolutely taking nothing away from Blade and Z1 because they're both doing well. I mean, Blade is 10 and 5 at the second, but Simple, with his alt play on this map on CT, is, you know, I've said it time and time again, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's world class, it's outstanding. World Edit, when he plays up in top apps, he's on the kind of balcony area outside there, he just usually plays so well, he'll easily get a two man, three man spray down there and get a hat trick in quick fashion. We've seen it time and time again from him. So he's a standout player. And Prizrak, in the last game that we saw playing kick earlier, on. He was 20 and 5 off the first half, just defending the B bomb site, and they're forced back onto an eco again. So the last one is going to be Crystal. All five going down in very quick fashion. No casualties. The only player actually taking any damage whatsoever for uh, Courage is, was going to be Blade. 9 4 is your score. Alternate attacks. This is going to be a big round. I mean, you know, if they can bring this back to 9 6, it's not going to be all over uh, at Even all. They can still come back into this. But yeah, 10 yeah. 5, yeah. I mean, like, I think they'd still kind of be like, all oh, right, okay. And they yeah. are able to buy here. So 5 AK 47s. But still, I mean, those are the three standout players for me. Nothing, you know, taking nothing away from Z1 and uh, Blade whatsoever. But at, at the same time, I just think those three that I, you know, talked about in those positions, uh, they're pretty nasty and very, very difficult to come up against from what we've seen so far and here we go into the 14th round 9 4 is no casualties so far into this Z1's down to 56 HP though and Crystal is down to 82 HP only people to really take any damage so far and again the kind of typical setup that we see on the CT side and the T side so far so nothing really too unorthodox from both squads let's see how they're going to play it yeah, let's see how they yeah. decide to take this on. So, Smoke's going in towards Quad, and we see the bomb actually go in towards Banana. So, I think it's Rack who's going to try and fake it. Oh, they're not going to fake... What are they trying to do? Yeah, are they trying to take this B bomb site? It looks like it. I think they're trying to force the CTs into into, into wasting their nades and stuff first. Ah, I see what they're doing. And Rack is going to make it seem like it's actually an A fake, but it's really, they're actually really going to the B bomb site. And Rack will try and rotate through CT spawn. Come on, Auto Director, show us someone who's relevant. I can confirm that bomb is in and around the B bomb site. Priz Rack will get dropped. And Solek now, he will type 7355608 in. And Rack catches World Edit with his pants down. So now. Now, simple. Oh no, he doesn't. S s oh, one of the courage players. They should have really told simple that the alternate player was going to rotate back round. And yeah. four versus two, it could have potentially, you know, been a decent clutch. But a mistake from courage. And the thing about alternate is you can't afford to give him mistakes. Now Z1 ain't going to do this. He ain't going to do this. He ain't going to do this. He ain't going to do it. Actually, he might. The bomb's ticking. Oh. <laughs> nah, he couldn't do it in that the end. Close. But the thing is, Counter-Strike is one of those things that's, that come really well and truly comes down to the nitty-gritty of it. If Simple had managed to take out Rack, who was rotating through Arch, if that Courage mm. player had told the Attacks player that, hang on a second, someone will get you from Arch, someone will get you from behind you at CT spawn, it would have made it 3 versus 2. And at 3 versus 2... Courage could have easily retaken the bomb, well not easily retaken the bomb site, but you know, it would most certainly made their odds slightly stacked more in their favour. 
I'm thinking this is an interesting setup. Again, I'm not, you know, I'm very new to Counter Strike, but is it really interesting to see two orbs from Simple and World Edit both stacked up right in the exact same position? They're both looking towards mid. Very interesting uh, from them indeed. Sometimes if you do see double orb set up on Inferno, I would predict that you'd have one in mid where World Edit is now, and then maybe one on B as well. Am I correct in that? Is this a bit unorthodox from them, or do you sometimes see orbs like this on, on a regular basis? I mean, it's not unorthodox to see two orbs, but both of them, well, both of them going in that position, in, going mid, yeah, but I guess they were trying to go for yeah. that early frag in mid, now we see World Edit is now, you know, he's changed around to orb in apps, and Simple's gone towards uh, library. So, last round of the first part, 9-5 is your score, once again, no casualties in this round so far, two in banana, two up towards app, one back near the kind of, the the L-shaped uh, break in the C, t well, near towards T-spawn, I'm not quite sure what the official kind of word for that is there, but it's kind of like the neutral area, I would say, for the for the T-siders, that's a great pick from Felix, taking out Simple, that's going to be a big kill to take him down with his AWP there, Simple is usually so deadly from Lyrie there, but the revenge kill comes in from Z1, well then it's going to use his AWP though, to great effect, Solo is going to get Prizrak though, that means that the bomb is going to have a free path to B, or is it though, there is going to be one player over there, Solo is going to try and catch him out, that's going to be Blade, so three versus two, the man advantage was in favor of the CT squad. No more though, Z1 and World Edit going up against Crystal and Solex. Z1's gonna catch one, he puts him down to about 63 HP. World Edit's gonna try and move in here from Banana. Let's see if he's gonna be able to pick up any kills. They've got to try and close them in and do something very, very soon indeed. That bomb has been planted, it's gonna blow up very soon. And that's a great smoke grenade, one gets taken down. It's going to be Solek, last one left alive. He's going to get spotted the smoke, and the defuse should come in as well. Is it going to... Two seconds left no, no, on the clock, he should be defused. There we go. Yeah. Oh, that was still a tiny bit tense. I didn't... I, well, I mean, like, I've turned my volume right down, but by the, from what I could hear, it sounded like it was going to get a bit close, but still. 10-5. I mean, Courage are obviously going to be happy with that to get into double figures off the CT side. And at the same time, Alternate, although it's not really preferable, they would have obviously liked it. 9-6 or, you know, even 8-7 or something. I still think that they can come back into this game you never quite know. Yeah, you really do never quite know. Um, whew, but yeah, obviously when we did cover Courage earlier on, uh, Courage managed five rounds against Kick on T-Side Inferno, if my memory serves me correct. And, yeah, that uh, was right. And how many... Well, Courage basically won it in the second half. I think they managed to get 11 rounds, didn't they? So, on a law of averages, when you compare both results, it seems like Courage have tougher opposition than Kick. And on paper as well, I think most people would consider alternate, you know, team alternate, team alternate, however it's meant to be pronounced, are a stronger side <laughs> than, 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 than Kick. So now Courage, they've got that this 10-5 lead, guys. Um, but make nothing of it. It's a brand new game. It's a brand new second half. And this pistol round is going to be crucial for attacks because we mentioned against Kick, Courage won both their pistol rounds, CT side and T side. And technically, when you win mm. the pistol rounds, you go on to win the next two rounds, so six rounds. So if Courage can manage to win this pistol round, then uh, hopefully it'll put them on 13 rounds because I believe alternate attacks won the first pistol round and Blade it says, yes, Kyanite, we're going to win this pistol round. I don't care what you say. And let's see whether Courage oh, can do it. Simple will pop out. It's oh. simple. It's simple. Oh. But Solek will drop him. But Solek is all by himself. He's pushing up Banana. He's got two to deal with. And surely not. Surely Solek ain't going to pull this four versus one clutch off. I mean, even with the clutch, it would leave him with the ace. He's, uh, he's relatively healthy. 55 HP. But this bomb site is so difficult to retake with M4s. Oh no, let alone with oh, the pistol. No. And that smoke could have done it for him, but he's completely balls it up. And well, the clock is ticking. He will drop. World edit. And he's going to be in a tough position here to even attempt the defuse. He's going to go for it. Blade is going to pop out. And uh, nah, he's not going to get. He's not going to get it on time. Too. He's not going to get it on time. Courage. They won the pistol round, and I fancy him for the game now. Yeah, I do indeed. We've seen them look very strong on Inferno earlier on today against Kick, who were, in some people's opinions, the favourites for that. And they are looking strong once again. And one thing that alternate attacks didn't do then is you saw them starting to push through the middle of the map, realised that they were going to be going through Banana. And what alternate attacks tried to do is just catch them off and, you know, 
imprison them inside of Banana, so to speak, and just get them from both sides, from B and from mid as well. But what they didn't do is they didn't check T-Spawn, where Simple was just waiting with his Glock, being a sneaky little beaver, yeah. and then he just comes out and gets two headshots, I do believe, with his Glock, and that just shut them down straight away. That was when the momentum really shifted in favour of alternate attacks and really put them with the advantage. So once again, they are going to be pushing through Banana by the looks of things. The only player not near there is going to be Z1, just to catch anybody on rotation. Standard setup, three on A, two on B from the CT side, but of course they are only on pistols because they did lose that uh, that pistol round. And again, so every pistol round that we've seen so far from Courage this evening, all four have gone in their favour. And you know, a lot of people say that pistol rounds pretty much wins you Counter Strike sometimes, and uh, I have to agree with that saying. So uh, they're looking very, very good so far. It's a four-on-four four situation. World Edit has gone down, but they're looking so good. And uh, I'm going to go with you again. I think they're going to take this game. Well, you say that you think that they're going to take the game, but they've decided they've had a change of heart and they're taking the bomb site all the way over to the A bomb site. Rack pops out. Rack is disposed of. And here Ooh. we go. Asma with the kill, but one kill ain't enough. It's two versus two. And Solek only on 3 HP. You know, Crystal's picked up that UMP, but I really don't fancy him. Are they going to go for it or are they going to save it? Well, YOLO. You only live once, which isn't necessarily true in this game because it's born in the Please don't now. say that in my presence. <laughs> um, I, I apologize. So, oh, beautiful oh. shot from Solek. Two versus one. Prizrak, he's surrounded by two. Angry counter terrorists, he will drop one. And Prizrak for the clutch. He's in search of Crystal. He's in search of the person who uh, was accused of all hacking quite a lot in Source. And Prizrak with the clutch. 12 5. <laughs> and, uh, my word. My word, my word. I don't know what to say, really. Uh, this is really... Blah, 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 blah. I think I think I need a cup of coffee, because I need to wake up. <laughs> yeah, me. have a cup I'm, of coffee. I'm, I'm not on the ball today, tell you what, I? My mum's making me a cup of tea, so I'll, I'll get her to like make you a cup of coffee, and then I'll like throw send it to Send it in the mail, yeah. If, yeah, send it in the mail, and we'll see if we can get the first-class delivery rule now. <laughs> Probably still get their heart. I'm kidding. Anyway, so once again, for the third time in a row, only pistols for alternate attacks. And, you know, you know, again, we talked about it. If you lose both pistol rounds, that's technically six rounds yeah. uh, out of Keen, it will be at that point. So six rounds out of 18, so that's a third of your entire round 18, forced onto pistols. 16. No wonder. So, wait. Uh, 16. No. no wait, 18. no, I'm trying to work this out. Ooh. My math is terrible. This is why I only got a C in my exams. But still, <laughs> you are on pistols for a lot of your time. Let's just go with that. And, uh, you know, th th that's not good. You know, mm. if you lose both of your pistol rounds, then you're in a real amount of trouble. That's six rounds where you've got to use pistols uh, whilst the other team are going to be able to buy. Yeah. So, here we go. Let's see what alternate attacks can do in this round. They were actually pretty close to taking it in the last rounds. It was surprisingly close, but uh, we'll see if they're going to be able to do so so far. So three on A, two on B once again. It looks like all of them are going towards A. So Auto Director, why do you do this? Thank you very much for taking us over towards A, where all the action is going to go down. World Edit is going to get two, gets one onto Solek. Now the rotation seems to be coming in as they know all of the players are onto A. They've got control of the bomb site as well. So Prizrak is going to find something towards Library. Great shots coming in there. He's going to get the second as well. Headshots on to Asmo and Felix Crystal. Last one left alive. He was looking through the wall there. You talked about wall hacking. <laughs> yeah, and he was just facing straight towards a the wall there with players the other side of it. No, I'm sure he's not doing anything bad whatsoever. So he's going to be the last one left alive in a one versus five situation. The bomb has been planted as well. He's not going to try and save this gun because there's no point trying to save the pistol. Prizrak shuts him down with a headshot. And that's going to be 13-5. Courage three rounds away from taking another convincing match on Inferno. Well, they look strong. They look very, very strong, the Courage on Inferno. And uh, I do know that they managed to get 14 rounds against Dignitas earlier on in the week, and I'm not quite sure whether it was on Inferno or not, but Courage, they're definitely a team to look out for. They look like they've been practicing. They sort of appeared out of nowhere, but fair play to them. So, Crystal has got his beloved AWP, or AVP as he calls it, in hand. And uh, the T is wasting no time whatsoever infiltrating this A bomb site. They've got Rack to deal with. He's hiding in the smoke. Crystal with that first frag. Rack says, Thank you very much. I want a few kills as well. But Z1 will decimate him. It is three versus four. Asthma will rotate. Asthma will prevent the bomb going down. And Asthma nice. will get the double. And Z1 is all alone on his own within pit. And he will try and catch a, a glimpse of Solek. He spotted him, but he can't deal much damage. But the good news, if you're an alternate fan... Well, bad news now. 
Pop Shop and Felix. I was going to say the good news <laughs> if you're an alternate fan is that he had that, you know, uh, Felix had plenty of time to take on the three terrorists, but the three counter terrorists, mm. but uh, not Felix, who was he? Z1 had plenty of time to take on the three counter terrorists, but uh, Commentator's Curse, we all love it. It kicked in. As always. And uh, unfortunately, he fell headfirst down onto the floor. 13 6 is your score. Over to you, Mr. Chewy. Right, let's see what's going to happen here. Round number 20, 13 to 6, as you do say. Let's see what they're going to do. Lots of shots going down into apartments, trying to get them out of there if there is anybody in the apartments. But alternate attacks more than happy just to sit back. So again, Orthodox set up two on B, three on A from the CT side. Bomb is making its way down second mid, I do believe, at the second, or it's at least towards apartments as well. So it looks like they are really starting to commit here. They've got one player hanging back, which is going to be simple, right back towards T spawn to see if anybody's going to be pushing through Banana. And that's one thing to really be careful of, of T side Inferno. We've seen it time and time again from teams who kind of get aggressive on the A-bomb site and then they just give up banana control completely and they really lose out from that and it can really you know pay a lot of shock to them and uh, not play very well in their favor but looks like they are going to be committing towards a smoke grenades molotovs the entire lot going down it seems let's see if they can push in here you do see that's going to be a uh, crystal starting to rotate down that asthma that was an incredible shot onto world edit so it's going to be a four versus five advantage in favor of alternate attack. Solik does manage to get another player there. Chris Rackinson put the last two left alive. I thought that bomb was going to go down for a second, but alternate attack suddenly starting to wake up a bit. They're playing very, very well now that they've been able to buy weapons. Chris Rack is just going to save his AK-47, going to run away from them, not even no. going to plant the bomb yeah. or anything, or no, is he? He's going to try and plant the bomb. He is going to try and go for it, but he's going to be met by Felix, the man on your screen, and there's also going to be other players starting to rotate as well. So he is going to meet up with one player there, does get the headshot. Felix is just around the corner though, he's going to try and go for the bomb plant. He does oh, get it down. So, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. So oh, he doesn't lucky. get no, it down. Go it, down. I swear the final number came up though. It did, but he didn't have time to actually stick it down on the floor. I don't think. To oh, put it he on had the time floor. to press the oh. enter button. He put the he put the the code in, but no enter button. Damn. 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 Damn those wretched <laughs> counter terrorists. So 13-7 is your score in favour of the team from Russia, and finally Courage are being forced into what I believe is their first eco of the game. So. Fair enough, about bloody time, and Crystal Ouch. about bloody time. Ouch indeed, about bloody time. He gets a frag on the board with that AWP of his. And one, of course, is better than none, and is he going to make it two? Crystal with the double, and this is why we've grown to love the German. With that, oh, they're swapping over. So, like, deciding to, AW, to AWP, and Crystal is going to go for more frags. Crystal with a hat trick before going down to the Glock of Blade, and that is why they swap weapons. So, like... Had the positional advantage. He could put that AWP into better use with the long distance. And here goes nothing. Will that it trying to do something. But unfortunately, couldn't do much. 13-8 is the score. And uh, attacks are, uh, are starting to, to make a comeback. But uh, Courage, they've got AK-47s now. So let's see what they can do. Yeah, this is going to be a really interesting round, I feel. I mean, looking at the buy situation once again, as far as I'm aware, uh, Courage aren't going to have the best buy situation if they do lose this round. They have been able to get five AK-47, so this is going to be quite an important round for them. We'll see what is going to happen indeed, and of course, alternate attacks, hardly any of them going down the last round, so they're not worried about money whatsoever here at this time. If Chris had pulled that shot off on anybody there, I probably would have just threw my microphone on the floor and left, but uh, yeah, still all the same, making their way through to apartments, as you can see, although at the second it's going to be blade and simple in banana right now so we'll see if they're going to do any work trying to get any picks the bomb is in mid just in front of your screen as you can see just in front of z1 there so a slow round on the t side of inferno we've seen this play a bit dodgy so far but they're starting to make their moves in Oops. rack is going to try and throw a mask with a flash good hey yeah he does get himself actually it looks like so still no casualties in this 20 second round we've got 53 seconds left on the clock it looked like courage we're going to start to make a push onto a there they got the smoke grenades down towards archers and started to make their way in but then suddenly decided to back off so they've got the support from blade now leaving simple the last one over towards a crystals actually moved his orp over towards ct spawn at the second so let's see what is going to happen still no casualties 33 seconds left as soon as i say that crystal does get prisrak let's see what's going to happen for the rest of the round yeah finally crystal will get first blood and solak is going to try and get that second terrorist kill but rack says thank you very much he wants the kill and crystal missing the shot and world edit nails him in the head and that kill ain't going to be enough Simple, hello, hello. He's keeping it plain and simple and rotating behind the attacks players. But you know what, Chewy? There's seven seconds remaining. There's five seconds remaining. I don't think Blade has time to get the bomb down. And uh, 
Alternate attacks will live to fight another day. 39 is the score. Yep, it is indeed. Blade just finishing off right there at the end. Not really going to play too much in the end. Now, are Courage going to force up here? I don't think they are by the looks of things. I think they're just going to leave Blade to uh, have his AK-47 on his own and just give this round up to make sure that they've got a good money situation for the next one. And I, you know, I think they can do that. They've got rounds to play with. They're still four rounds ahead. So it's not really going to do too much. But they've actually decided to go for Deagles. No armor or anything like that. The only person with armor is still Blade, obviously, with that AK-47. So we've got three Deagles, an AK-47, and a CZ-75. So not actually too bad of a decision. I think that's the kind of decision that I could make. Uh, but here we go. So Crystal still with that AWP. He's been doing great work with it so far. I'm going to throw a grenade down there. I'm going to put Simple down to 40 HP. So that's not very good for Courage here. But as I said, they've got rounds to play with. So definitely not the worst situation here for Courage. The fact that they're having to uh, not really buy much in this round. And uh, we'll see if they can take the next one. But I have a feeling their next buy round could be the real crucial one. Well, fingers crossed if you're a Courage fan that what Chewie's saying becomes a reality. But I'm sure you'd love it even more if Courage managed to uh, win this Deco round. So, Blade is the only one with an AK-47, the rest on Deagles and the CZ-75. But the bomb is on Banana, and most of the time with Courage, wherever the bomb is, you know, so far into the round, is mainly where they will, you know, attempt to try and get the bomb down. Like last time mm. around, they left the bomb outside the A bomb site. Oh. oh, and that's a beautiful shot from Asmo. And if he keeps pulling those shots off, he will blow World Edit to smithereens. And I think Asmo is the one to watch at the moment. He's saying no. He's put his foot down on this B-bomb site. But Prizrak, an even better shot from him. And it's AK Kalashnikovs galore in and around the B-bomb site. Solek and Co. will begin the process of rotating. It's an easy kill for Crystal. It's an easy kill for Felix. And the bomb couldn't go down. 13-10 in favour of Courage still. But attacks look strong, and look at the amount of money they've got, Chewy. Crystal mm. on over eight thousand dollars. I wish I had eight thousand dollars. <laughs> just saying, just putting that. You know, out if there, I had eight thousand dollars, I'd probably spend it all on cases and keys. To be fully honest with you. Why would you spend it all on cases and keys when you could just guarantee yourself like a sexy inventory with that anyway? I would upgrade to like a full blue Karen bit case hardened. I was looking at one earlier on and I was just like having an orgasm over it. But <laughs> anyway, Wait for your student finance to come in. On. Pretty much. <laughs> my student finance has already come and gone, unfortunately. I saw it go out of my bank account the other day and cried my heart out. So, 13 10 is your score. 24th round it is. Courage able to buy once again, although we do see uh, one Galilean play from Blade, three AK 47s, and an AWP from Simple. He can do work with that gun. See if he's going to. At the start of this 24th round, nobody taking any damage so far. The bomb's going up towards mid. It looks like they're committing to go up there. We're going to see if they're going to be able to push through in style. They look like they're making their way through now. Great push into the initial area over towards that A-bomb site. Are they going to be able to push through any further? Not if Rack has anything to do with it up in his balcony position up towards apartments. He's going to meet a player any second. If they come around the corner, that's going to be world edit. Now they know that they're there. Great shot by Simple though onto Crystal. That's the AWP down already. This is a huge round for Courage, and they've got a very good start so far. Let's see if they can continue that. Rack is going to get th sprayed through the smoke. Not going to go down, though. Asmo's going to find a player, but Simple shuts him down again. And this is now a three versus three situation as Rack picks up two. Solek on the site picks up another one. This is all switching in favor of the guys from Germany. But as soon as I say that, Simple with another kill. That's his hat trick of the round. Rack is in pit. He's going to meet up with Simple. He does take him down. Now it's World Edit in a one on two. This is so crucial for him to try and win this round. He gets taken down, though. 13-11 it is going to be, and courage, 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 what happened? I thought they were going to take that, but I'll turn it so strong on the defensive there on the A-bomb side, and that was a great round. That was probably my favourite round that we've had so far in the game. He's a superb uh, crossfire from alternate attacks on the uh, yeah. on, on, on the on the A-bomb side. They knew that the T's had pushed around Arch, and the guys on the B-bomb side knew that they were either going to go CT spawn to B, or rotate around Arch near Library and try and get the bomb down on the A bomb site. So what they did was the person I believe was Rack in and around Apps. He dropped down to Pit and tried to be in nuisance for the terrorists. So they all pushed out in front of the bomb site with all eyes on Rack on Pit. But they completely forgot that Felix was slap bang on the bomb site and he was an easy game mm. because they weren't even looking at him. But anyway, yeah. uh, Crystal has got his all seeing AWP with uh, him at Banana. So, like, he's going to take a peek at mid. He's not going to see much at the moment, though. 
He's just going to lob flashes and smokes out there. Crystal is preparing. He's going to try and get some lucky shots through the smoke. But unfortunately for him, no one is actually there. So again, like we said before, wherever the bomb is, you know, around a minute into the round, that's where Curry decides to plant the bomb. That's what the uh, the trend seems to be so far. And Solek is going to have a load of terrorizing terrorists to try and deal with at the moment. He's going to get pushed. He will go down. And is that frag what Courage need to finally build on this and get a bloody round? on the board. Asmo is going to hold from the bomb site, and those Molotovs, we can see how an important addition they are to CSGO, given alternate... You know, if this was CSS or CSGO, the teams would have continued rushing in. They would have had the bomb site. But no, as soon as you put those Molotovs down, the Russians, they don't want to they don't want to get barbecued. So then you cause them to stop. And now there's only 20 seconds left. And Crystal is going to be greeted by three angry terrorists. He will put the Molotov down. And again, it's the story of the Molotovs. The Germans are using the Molotovs to absolute perfection. But Courage and Co. somehow managed to jump through them. There's eight seconds going. The bomb is down. It's three versus two it's not the first time we see alternate have to uh, courage have to cro have to have to have to, have to clutch <laughs> they will pull it off three versus uh, two in favor of attacks it's simple we saw z1 do it earlier on but it wasn't meant to be this time round 13 11 is the s no it will be 13 12 and chewy your mic keeps uh, keeps making this weird noise and it puts me off it's, does it it's pro okay, like a I proper Darth Vader breathing noise and like it's been happening from the like from from the start of, of this game, Maybe but I haven't said it's anything. So hot in it's because it's probably so boiling hot in my room that I've got the fan on. <laughs> Let me turn it away. I don't know. It's like, it's and like, see if that does anything. It's like I'm trying to cast, it's, and then it's like Darth Vader do, down. Teaser, I'm like, so it's because literally it's like a sauna in my room, and so I put the fan on, but I didn't realise it was covering my mic. So I do apologise about that. But here we go into the 26th round now. If I am right, Kaina, it was 13-5 after eight rounds. Am I correct with that? Which means yeah. that alternate attacks have just made one a hell of a comeback. That means that they've taken seven rounds on the trot, and now they are within one single round of evening up the situation. Courage are still able to buy, and they've got lots of grenades in their hand as well. So this is such Oops. an important round for them, and Prizrak is not going to help the situation. Taking AHP off Z1 there, and it's of course going to give away his position as well. Uh, if nothing else, so uh, let's see what, what they're going to do. You can see the grenades starting to come in. There's grenade spots. We're going to try and smoke off the different areas. There's two players in banana, two players in air as well. And can I, is my uh, Darth Vader microphone any better now, or is it still just as bad? Well, I know it happens when I'm casting, so let's give it a shot. Rack with first belong to Frizz out. Will that it will push in as well. Storming through Arch with that AK-47 as Blade tries to act as a decoy in around the B bomb site. And yep, it does seem like your mic has been fixed, Chewy. So uh, over to Where, you. There we go. Okay, indeed. Oh, there we go. World Edit is going to pick up two. Taking up Solik and then Crystal with the headshot. So this is looking good for them, but Rack, if he's going to do anything, he's so great in this position in pit, but he gets taken down. Now it's a two on two. The bomb has actually been left over towards apartments. It looks like at the second, and Felix is going to shut things Come down. That was absolutely massive. Taking out World Edit and Simple, that was a really close round. And then Felix was just like, no, I'm casually just going to take you out. And having a look at the buy situation, Courage are really starting to get desperate right now. It looks like they're going to eco this. Maybe they're not. No, they are going to buy up here. So they're going for it. Of course, alternate attacks in incredible situation with the money because of the amount of rounds that they take in a row. That's eight on the trot for them on the CT side. And we were talking about how great Courage were playing on this map. And then as soon as we say that, you know, Crystal and the rest of the guys have just really been picking things up so well. They are making their way down towards Banana. Crystal's been deadly so far on this site, and he's already taken three of them down with damage, but he's not taken them down completely. Oh, oh my gosh, how did he just take out Z1 there? How did he just do that? He pulled the trigger, that's how he did it, and that bullet went straight into the Courage player. Felix holding the bomb site like a boss. He's going in search of kill number three, but Simple shuts him down. And there we go. 14-13, guys. The comeback is almost complete. And Courage, they bought up in that last round. Guys, they can still afford to buy up again. They're going to have to go for Galil's or maybe submachine guns. And some of them will have to sacrifice armor. It is do or die. It is. Because if it's 15-13 in favor of attacks after this round, Courage, they'll buy up everything they can, which will be mainly Deagles or mainly P250s. And I'm sorry, but attacks... We've already seen an NIP comeback today, and are we going to see a big German comeback um, for the alternate? 
attacks. Only time will tell. And the thing about Crystal is he's so flexible. One second he's watching Banana, the next mm. second he's in app. So uh, it just goes to show how, how, how good of a player he is and what he brings to a team. He brings like a second dimension or a third dimension, the ability to, you know, really change it up uh, very often. So uh, here we go. We've got four Galils for Courage and an AK-47 in the hands of Simple, who obviously can afford that AK-47, but has opted to not buy any grenades. So it's been a bit of a trade on the, on the Russian or the CIS or the Ukrainian behalf. So here goes nothing. Solek will put that Molotov down. Z1 will stop his push through apps and Solek will come to try and stop these angry terrorists making their way in here. Is this going to be what Courage oh. need? At the moment, it seems like yes. Yes, this is what Courage need. Here's Felix and Asmo with the weight of the world on their shoulders. Asmo's rotating all by himself. He will get dropped. And surely Felix won't do this. He's going to drop one, but he's going to fall back. And we are going to see 14-14 financially alternate can buy. Financially, after winning this round, Courage will be able to buy. And this is going right down to the wire, Chewy. I think I'm going to call overtime, which will be my first ever time casting overtime if we do go to it. I, I just, I don't know why, I just have a feeling that it could go, could go the distance, which will be great to see between these two squads because they've just looked so great so far. Felix is going to look for any exit fags because nobody's going to be heading down there though. The bomb is going to explode. He gets taken down to 15 HP, not quite dead though, and you can hear the bell ringing as well. So 14-14. 29th round. Whoever wants to take this without taking it into overtime has got to win two in a row. Both teams able to buy and alternate attacks took nine rounds in a row and then eventually Courage managed to take their first round since the first three pistol rounds on the T side. Well, the first three rounds, you know, including the pistol round and then obviously the two after when alternate attacks couldn't buy. But since alternate attacks have been able to buy, they've looked so, so strong indeed. So let's see how Courage are going to play this. Are alternate attacks going to be aware of what they did in the last round and not let them do it again? It looks like they're going to go in towards A and please, Autodirector, stop taking us to the wrong bomb site. I beg of you, it looks like actually it could be the right bomb site in a second though because the bomb's actually starting to make its way towards Banana. Crystal picks up one. Is he going to get the second? It looks like he could do. <laughs> Simple's going to be trying to move through his first They've jumped second, past him. absolutely crazy. Wow. Crazy indeed. So Asmo will start rotating through mid. No, he's going to go second mid. And where are these terrorists? Well, they've gone all the way back to T-Steps. I think they got the fright of their life there after they realised that they jumped right past Crystal. So it looks like Blade with the bomb on his back is still, you know, got his heart set on this B bomb site. The attacks players haven't exactly got anyone slap bang on the bomb site. They've got Felix playing in ruin. So I guess he's going to listen for it. He'll give Courage the plan. But Asmo should get an easy frag here. No, he doesn't. World Edit is on 51. One HP though, and uh, he's going to make his way towards Arch, and he's going to try and wrap round now. No, they're not going to go B, guys. They're going to go A. So Felix is pretty much on the wrong bomb site, and because he's on the wrong bomb site, um, Auto Director, of course, decides to show us Felix. So Rack wreaking <laughs> havoc on this bomb site. He goes in search of the second, and surely now attacks can't let this one go, and they don't. 15-14. One more round is all the Germans need, and the comeback will be complete. Who would have guessed it? 10-5, look at the money. Courage. Yeah, look at the money, exactly. Solek has an AWP. Crystal uh, opting to, you know, stick with that M4. So uh, Solek is going to be a using that AWP. Where's Solek going to be going? Solek is going to go for that early pick mid. So over to you, Chewy. Uh, oh, wait, I'm going to... In a second, look at the buy of Courage. They've got two people that's on what I was. Yeah, yeah. That's, what I was, that's what I was referring to with the money, is the fact that, you know, like, I think the most amount of money that somebody had was Blade with about $4,800, and he's bought pretty much everything that he can, but they've got two pistols. So, if everything is going with the way that alternate attacks have been playing so far on the CT side, this should be GG game set and match in their favor. They have just made one phenomenal uh, side here of Inferno. This is why I love this map. This is why it's my favorite map, just because things like this can happen. It's so much fun to cast over. It's frustrating when it happens to you like it did to me yesterday, although the game that I was in, we just managed to close out the, uh, the game. But still, I mean, you know, it's just one of those maps where everything can change. And as soon as things don't go your way, they really don't go your way. But Z1, if he's going to have anything to do with it, he's going to shut somebody down and Rack's gone down. So that is not good for alternate Ooh. attacks. The bomb is going to be moving back towards mid. There's going to be loads of players over towards A, but Asmo is going to reply. It's four versus four. 
It is 4 versus 4 and Crystal is going to be greeted by a heck of a load of angry terrorists now. He will pull that flash down on the floor and come on Crystal in bizarre fashion. Is it going to be Crystal, the man himself, to rescue the game oh. for the Germans? He needs one more and <laughs> Crystal does it! 16-14 in favour of the Germans. The comeback is complete. And well, if I had to choose any alternate player... To guarantee the comeback, it would have been Crystal, and I'm really happy for him. Superb play, and it just goes to show that if you get five rounds on T-Side Inferno, it's still not game over, you know what I mean? It's just a brilliant Counter-Strike from alternate, brilliant. That is why I love Counter-Strike. This is why it's going to be the eSport title, which I am pretty much moving all of my commentary over. If you